Hey there, my name is Timothy Karambat, founder of Mintplex Labs and creator of Anything LLM. And today, I just want to show you possibly the easiest way to run any local LLM on your laptop and get full RAG capabilities so you can talk to PDFs, MP4s, just regular text documents and scrape entire websites, pull a whole YouTube video, a GitHub repo, doesn't matter. I want to show you how to do that with the latest and greatest and most powerful models that are out there. I'm going to show you how to do this with a tool called Olama and then our tool called Anything LLM. Olama is as easy as it comes. It's an application that you can just download and run on your laptop, no GPU required, and you can run a whole bunch of LLMs all locally on your machine. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like to download Olama and use it. Then I'm going to show you how to upgrade Olama and have it work with anything LLM, which is another desktop application that can work with Olama to give you full RAG capabilities on PDFs, text documents, video, audio, websites, GitHub repos, the list goes on and on and on. Both of these services are totally open source on GitHub, so give us both a star, and I'm going to show you how to run this today on my Intel-based MacBook Pro. Now, that being said, my MacBook Pro is not the best candidate for running these kind of models on it. I'm going to be running a 5-bit quantized Llama 2 model. It'll run actually pretty well. However, if you are on an M1 series chip or at least have a GPU on your desktop, you're going to go way faster than mine. So I may speed up the segments where we're just waiting for inferencing. However, the performance is basically as good as your machine can get. And I also want to preface by saying that Olama, it says right here on the website, if you go to olama.com, it says that Windows is coming soon. The Olama team just showcased that the Windows app was working on a Windows machine. So you can expect that to come probably by the time that you watch this video. And then for the full RAG capabilities brought by anything LLM, we already support Windows. So let's just put these two things together and let me show you how powerful this is. So first things first, let's get Olama set up. Go to olama.com and then just click the download button. Download it and install it as a regular application like you normally would. So we have just downloaded the Olama application. Let me show you how to get it started. First, we're going to go and I'm on a MacBook, but if you were on Windows, it would install on your desktop. I have the app installed here. So I'm going to click on it and we're going to see a little icon in the top that pops up. Olama doesn't ship with a UI in it already. So this is where the only bit of technical information is going to be needed to just get a llama model running. I'm on their GitHub, which I got from just clicking on the GitHub on their homepage. And this is a list of all of the models that are supported. You can expect there to be many more models in the future. And there is a little technical note that you should have at least eight gigabytes of RAM available to run the 7 billion parameter models, 16 gigabytes for 13 billion, 32 for 33 billion. Obviously, I am not on a massive MacBook Pro. I have about 16 gigs of RAM, but I'm going to run a smaller model. And so what I would like to do is just download the 3.8 gigabyte 7 billion Llama 2 model. So what we'll need to do is just open up a terminal and run Olama run Llama 2. So we have our terminal open. And if we type in Olama, you'll see that we get some commands here, which means that we have Olama installed and everything is working. So let's just copy this command that will then allow us to download and run the Llama 2 model within our terminal. Now, if you haven't downloaded the model yet, it's going to download, depending on your internet speeds, it'll take a bit. So we paste that model into terminal and we wait for that to boot. Llama 2 has now just fully booted on my MacBook and we're ready to run a chat. I do want to say I have OBS running on this and obviously I'm trying to run inferencing. So if you hear my computer taking off, I'm sorry, but let's just send a simple message so we're not sending too many tokens. And we'll just say, hello. And you can see that we almost start streaming instantaneously because all we have to say is just hello. Now we get a response. Memory is retained in the model up to a certain point, right? Until the context overflows, then it just starts getting rid of your older messages. If you want something more sophisticated, you're going to want to hook up Olama, Llama 2 running instance to anything LLM. And that's what I'll show you next. So to exit the Olama terminal, just so that we can really upgrade and unlock the full power of a local LLM on our laptop, we're just going to run slash buy. Now we're back at the terminal. And in fact, uh, you can keep this open because we may need it later. We're going to upgrade Olama. We're going to give it all of the bells and whistles that you already want it to have, but 
You want private vector database. You want rag on a bunch of different types of documents. You want a clean chat interface. You want all of that. And I know you want it and you want it for free. So we have it for anything LLM. So all you're going to do is go to useanything.com and you can click download anything LLM for desktop, depending on what Mac you're on, or if you're on Windows, you would just click the appropriate button and download it. Okay, so we have anything LLM downloaded. So let's boot it up for the first time. Again, I'm going to go to Launchpad and I'm going to click on the anything LLM icon. So we'll see anything LLM boots up and we're kind of brought to this onboarding screen because we need to first configure the instance. You can change any of these settings at any time, but this is how you get started. Now, the first question is, what LLM do you want to use? Well, you want to use Olama. So you can scroll or just type in here and go to Olama. And it asks for the very first thing is the Olama base URL. Now, keep in mind, I'm running anything LLM and Olama on the same machine. That's how lightweight anything LLM is. What is the Olama base URL? When Olama boots up, it actually runs a server that is very familiar if you've used the OpenAI API, but all you would need to do is do Olama serve. And now you'll see that it was already running for me because I have it to where when Olama boots up to run the server. And you'll see it runs on this specific address and port. You would just copy that and type in HTTP colon slash slash and then that. And you'll see that the chat model selection shows Llama 2 latest already selected. If I had all of the Olama models available in here, I could pick between them. And we know that the token limit for this is 4096, or at least that's what I'm going to put it as. Now, next is embedding. Olama doesn't support embedding models, but you don't have to worry about that because anything LLM ships with one. So just click next. And vector database, you can go and run Chroma locally. Maybe you want to run Quadrant or Milvis or Weaviate or go hosted with Pinecone because you already have that. You can do that here or you can just click next because we give you a vector database that stays on your computer. And you can see the data handling and privacy screen. Your model and chats are only accessible on this machine. Same for embeddings and same for vector database. So not a single piece of our private data is ever even going to leave this laptop. We do ask a nice survey just to help us improve the product. But of course, you can skip that. Now, I want to scrape the useanything.com website and use that for information to tell Olama about anything LLM so that when I talk about it, the chatbot is smarter. So I'm going to make a workspace that we're just going to call anything LLM. So we are now on the anything LLM workspace in anything LLM. Sorry about that. And we're on the default thread. We could start a new thread if we wanted to. You can make as many as you want, but let's just pick a random one. And like I said, we can upload documents. I can just click here and you'll see I have some PDFs. I have some text documents and some other just random files, but let's use the use anything website. We're going to go ahead and fetch that. It should only take a few seconds. There we go. And now we're going to embed it. And again, this embedding model is running locally on the machine and it's already done. I do just want to point out that if you have multiple Olama models running, you can actually change what model a specific workspace is running. So if you want anything LLM to use Mistral and you want another one to use maybe Code Llama, you can have that kind of granularity all within anything LLM, all within this interface. Of course, you can modify the prompt, snippets of text you want to return uh, from your vector database, maximum similarity threshold. We really give you every kind of control you could want. But now let's do the most important thing, which is ask Llama2 running on Olama, what is anything LLM? And now because we are giving Olama context plus our question and the history, your machine really has to crunch all those tokens. And so the streaming may be a bit slow for me. And that's because, again, I am using only my MacBook's CPU to answer this question. So I'm going to let this speed up for a little bit so that we can kind of watch it unfold. OK, and our inferencing is done. And if we were to send another message, it would have history of this chat. Now, considering that Olama has already melted a hole in my CPU from having to run these models, uh, I'm not going to go any further. Hopefully, you have a more powerful machine to run these kind of models. However, I just ran Llama 2. You can run a smaller model. This is just the one I chose to use. But you can see that anything LLM really levels up the Olama application and gives you more control on the application side of an LLM, while Olama really helps you get any 
local LLM up and running very quickly. Hopefully this short tutorial was pretty useful for you to figure out how to run a 100% private local LLM with full RAG capabilities on your desktop today in less than five minutes. Thank you. And let me know if you have any comments or questions.